Welcome back to another episode of Summit Life, everybody. Faith and I have been so hard at work the past couple of days, and you can see here's our latest project. This is my neighbor's brand new Mercedes-Benz Sprinter camper van. This thing is so, so sick, and it's kind of what we're building the Gallardo into, but on a much um, shorter scale. Before we get going with today's video, I wanted to let you know that it's sponsored by Kumo Tire. We've worked with them in the past, you guys know them, and I wanted to talk to you about them right away, first off in the video, because we have a fresh set of tires right here. Now these tires are the Kumo Road Venture AT52s. Now these are a premium all-terrain tire, kind of like those. Uh, but these are going on a vehicle that does not belong to me. Now this set of all-terrain tires are actually a surprise. A surprise for somebody who's very important to me. I've had these tires for about a week and it's been killing me not being able to let him know I have them, but he's in desperate need of them. All right, the tires made the trip. Let's unload these guys. So you guys are probably wondering who's getting this fresh set of Kumo tires, and that's going to be my cousin Jake. My cousin Jake and I grew up together, and we're actually only a few months apart in age, so it's like we're brothers, and he's been one of my best friends my entire life. And this is his awesome Subaru Impreza Crosstrek, and this thing is so sweet, it's like overlanded out. But there's one issue, and the issue is, He's got ball tires. Now, a few months ago, I helped him change out some uh, control arms and some bushings because this thing's lifted and I noticed that his tires were bald. So I hit up our friends over at Kumo and they sent over this fresh set of rubber for him. I cannot wait to surprise him. He knows I'm bringing something over, but he does not know that it's a fresh set of tires. So let's send him a text and let him know we're here. Here he is. Here's Jake. Here's my cousin Jake. Hey. And I got your surprise all covered up. Yeah, what's going on? Well, you ready? Okay. Okay, here it is. A brand new set of tires. Yes, that's amazing. Okay, you can see how ball you already. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty bad. So I told them I was helping you change out your bushings on your car, and I noticed your tires were completely bald, and that's not going to cut it in a ski town. No, my knobby tires aren't so knobby anymore. Not so knobby anymore. That tends to happen, but with these fresh Kumos, you're going to be all set. Thank you, Kumo. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, now I just gave you an errand. You just have to go install them. Is that a good trade-off? That's right, it's worth it. Yeah. Okay, Thanks good. Thanks again, man. Absolutely. So cool. Love you, dude. Now that we got the Kumo tires taken care of, let's get on with today's video. We are back at the shop, and we are back to vlogging. That was pretty nice of you to give Jake some, some tires. Yes, I was so excited to be able to give Jake a set of tires. Now, that was a couple weeks ago. It has been a month since we've uploaded, and it's because Oof. we've been hard at work. And so <laughs> has Sal here. He's been hard at work, and he's feeling much better. Thank you all for his get well soon wishes. His back's Aww. feeling much, much better, but he is slowly becoming an old man. His birthday is on November 2nd. Sal, would Turning you stop six. growing? This guy also just had a birthday, but we don't we don't need to talk about that. Yeah, I am also an old man. We don't need Sal to. and I are um, middle aged, starting our midlife crises. It is quite chilly here in Park City, and the snow has started to fall. Yet people still want their cars clean, which is what Clayton and I have been busting our butts doing. So busy. Yep, and we even have. It came in in the shop yes. for a wrap. A first generation came in. You guys know this car very, very well. I have one. This one's starting its journey into a build. Um, it is very well used, but it's in for a vinyl wrap, lowering springs, uh, wheel spacers, and then in the future, he's getting custom wheels made. Oh, cool. Just yeah. like you. Yeah, it's going to be a really cool build. But we are not talking about clients' cars today. We are talking about our own cars today, starting off with our Range Rover. You're having a midlife crisis. I'm going through a crisis as well. A car crisis? A car crisis. I have been in love with this car for the, what is it, two years that we have owned it? We've owned it two years, which, which is surprisingly is, long. We usually own cars for like a year and then we sell them. But this one, I just, I love this car so much. So today, in today's video, we're unwrapping it. Everywhere I go, I get massive compliments on this color. I can attest to that. It's so much fun. Everyone's like, that color is insane, and it really is. But we are removing it today because we are going to list it for sale. We're getting it nice, fresh, and looking brand spanking new for its next owner. There's a couple little teeny things we gotta fix on the car, one including the wrap. Uh, so let's get to work. So you guys have probably seen us wrap this car. Gosh, what has it been, five times now we've wrapped this car? I think so. 
I think so, actually. Do you guys know that it's extremely easy to disassemble, and we have to do that in order to remove the wrap, so we're gonna do that really quick. For those of you that are not familiar with this car, it is a 2014 Range Rover Supercharged, and it has been one of my favorite cars I've ever owned, ever. First off, the interior is absolutely immaculate. I love how Range Rovers design their interior. It looks super sleek. It's got, what is it at, 96,000 miles, which is a lot for a Range Rover. But we assure you, we've done some very good maintenance on it recently. There's a couple things going on with the engine, like an O2 sensor was weird, and then there was a weird hose issue that we fixed, but it's all good now. It's got two sets of wheels. These are aftermarket, but it also has the OEMs. We also got Kumo tires on this one, which are pretty fresh still. It's got full window tint, even the windshield, and it also has windshield protection because, you know, Range Rover windshields aren't cheap to replace. My favorite part that we've never used ever are the two TVs in the back. What are you gonna miss about this car? What's been your favorite thing? Dude, I love how it has heated and cooled seats on all four seats. <laughs> oh, that's right. And then the front seats have massage settings. Mine's always on. All right, without further ado, I think we should transform the Range Rover back to stock color. Say goodbye to the teal. miss this car. I know Faith drove it most of the time, but when I did get to drive it, it was sure a treat. Now, Faith, do you have any idea what you want to replace this with? That is the question that I've been asking myself every day for like four months. I have no idea. Yeah, I knew you had Can no I get a sport. brand new Range Rover? The brand brand new ones that yes. are like $200,000? Yes. I would love one. At that rate, $200,000, shoot. Might as well just get a Urus at that point. Yes, just bump up to three. I have thought of every single car there is to compare the Range Rover to, and I just cannot decide. I like fast SUVs, and looks-wise, performance-wise, luxury-wise, the Range Rover just has everything beat. And for the price of the 2014s, like what you get power-wise and luxurious-wise, you, you can't, can't beat, beat it. that. You could do the new Escalade V, which is like, don't quote me on this, it's like 690 or 700 horsepower Escalade. But they yeah. are very, very, very expensive. Yeah, they're expensive. Uh, come on, quit it. We're trying to be realistic here. Okay. Quit it. I could just go out of complete left field and get like a GTR. That would be fun. You could get a GTR and then surprise me with it because that's what I want. Interesting. He didn't say no. That does it for the Range Rover. Should we get on to the next vehicle of ours? Yes, we should. Not only is the Range Rover for sale, but we have a few other things for sale as well, including the business. You guys remember we are selling our business, which is going fantastic. It's a long drawn out process of due diligence. And we are talking with a few people that are interested. It's just gonna be a little bit longer before we know if they are going to buy the business or not. But both of our vans and the businesses are going with that sale. And then we also have the 99 the Jeep. Jeep Cherokee Classic Rock Crawler. It is still for sale. How? How has this not been bought yet? I don't get it. This thing is a beast. It's a very specific use beast though. It's true, it's it true. It is built for rock crawling. You can build it into a daily driver, but it does require a few things. A lot of you guys, when we first announced the Jeep was for sale, kind of got a little bit 
ticked off because this was a gift, a wedding gift from the Stradman to us. At the time when we got married, I was actually looking for Jeep Cherokees to go off-roading because I really enjoy rock crawling and off-roading. And James was uh, an amazing friend and got us this as a gift. But he did say as he was gifting it to me that this is 100% up to us. And whenever we do decide to sell it, it's up to us. So we have full reign whether or not we keep it or not, and we are super grateful for James as a friend to give us the gift. But luckily, even if we sell this Jeep, James is still our friend. So I think we lucked out. Now because this is a big news update video, we have the truck right here. I don't think the truck is gonna go anywhere. Even if we decide to sell the truck, I am a believer of you always need a truck to do truck things. Faith wants a new truck, but luckily this truck belongs to me. <laughs> and I still like it. I still have a lot to do with the truck, but that brings us to this car right here. You guys know this car. We've built it on the channel. I've owned this car for probably four or something years, over four years probably. I bought this car sight unseen. I've built it to what it is. I bought it for this build specifically but I've driven it one time this year. So I'm on the fence with this. I want your guys' help with this. Should I keep the Cayman or should I sell it, which will free up some capital for us to do some more uh, YouTube friendly builds or adventures or something like that. I need your guys' help. I'm on the fence with it. I love this car. I have so many more plans, but all those plans require more time and money, which maybe I could allocate to a different type of build. I don't know. It's a struggle. He's been, he's been, he's been flip flopping constantly for about three months. If I do list it for sale, I do have a price in mind. But you guys need to know this is a huge work in progress show car. Show cars are pretty much never complete, and whoever does buy it, I will update them on everything that needs to be done with the car, every plan that I had for the car, and they're going to have the freedom to do whatever they want with the car. I will say it would be kind of cool to see someone buy it and see what they do with it. Yeah, so to give your feedback on whether or not I should keep the Cayman or sell the Cayman, so go ahead and follow us on Instagram. I'm going to do a poll once this video is live, and I want to hear you guys' feedback. Ooh, it's getting interesting. Yes, and you better have a good reason for me to sell it or a very good reason for me to keep it. All right, we're done talking about the Cayman. It's really cold. You wanna go inside? Yes. Okay, let's go. Oh, this car looks so good in black. It honestly has looked good in every single color we've had it. We've had it. Black, red, matte black, blue, teal. It's a lot of colors in two years. Yes, it is. <laughs> now, there are a few other vehicles that we own that are not here that we want to address. First off, the Razor. So we made the decision to sell our Razor because Polaris sent us that new Razor. We actually really liked that one. And ours is a couple years old, so we think it'd be fun to uh, let someone else enjoy that razor, and then we can buy one of the new ones next year, and then just enjoy a razor all over again. But along with the razors, uh, if we sell those, then we don't need our trailer. So the trailer's also for sale. A Range Rover for sale, a Jeep for sale, a Cayman maybe for sale that I need your guys' help with, a razor for sale, and a trailer for sale. We also have two businesses for sale, so hold up two Holy other fingers. smokes! We have seven things for what sale right now. What are we doing with our lives? Sound like things, clearly. Oh, that was a quick and easy video, quick life update video. Hey Sal, birthday boy. Guys, make sure you wish Sal a happy birthday. He's turning six. Wednesday, November 2nd. Want to give another huge shout out to Kumo for sponsoring this video. Like we always say, we couldn't do it without our sponsors. And we want to wrap up this video by saying thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry it's been a little bit. We are a little in over our heads, but it'll all be over soon. Hopefully when the business sells, we can devote a lot more time to you guys. And with that, we will see you in the next video. Peace.